the fifth dimension and back to the third dimension, making our journey safely. Of course, as I say, 31 is 4. And perhaps this is really saying that we are merging from third, of course, 4 and 5. So there we are. Let's, so let's see about 31. Um, <clears throat> 31. We know 1 is 7, so I'm going to do this. I hope you can see it a bit closer. Okay. So 1 is 7. You are the one. When um, it was said to Neil, you are the one. That's something that we need to pay attention to the, with the power of numerology because this is not by chance. You're saying you are the one, but one is whole. One is now. You are present. This was the message being said to him. And of course, when you believe, you have also won. These are the same letters. <clears throat> and so now one and own. O -W -A, you own your position. So I have covered these in um, my presentations that all this is the same or the serpent is the same but let's stick to 31 let's just try and keep things in context so two eight nine nine two seven so three nines 27 this is 37 37 is 10 meaning it's one so one plus one plus seven is eight now, this is lovely. I like this because this also explains why we have 31 days of the month, if you like. Or we could say even with us, because us, which is what we are trying to work out the correlation here. Us is um, 31 or 4, um, 31 in this way. But we have 8. When we do the numerical value for the word 8, E-I-G-H-T, it is <coughs> 5, 9, 7, 8, 2. So this is 17, um, 26, 31. So is this magic? Of course it is magic. So 31 is actually whole. And it's the um, power or beauty of the minds or the um, intelligence that have been presented to us that I marvel at each time I do these numerical values because it is really seen as the symbol of infinity, which I have covered in other. It's really whole. It's a circle. It's really a cell. It's a circle. It's a it's a cycle so here we have one month is a cycle <coughs> or us which is sorry wow let's do not very nice on my fingers so this is 31 and this is where mother eve said let us make man in our image after our likeness meaning this is in chapter 1 of Genesis and perhaps it would be on the 17th or 8th verse. I don't, um, I'll have to check it out. But um, when Mother Eve said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, not only she or let's say she was um, letting us know that the a cycle is um, ended here, it also was uh, had it also had a strong relationship with number eight they, because it was an eighth letting so the cycles of seven seven thousand years seven whatever was ended and then we were entering this eight which tells us about the story mother if et or eight meaning there is no difference really with the word it or et or the number eight because <clears throat> when we do the numerical value for E80, which is the same letters, <coughs> excuse me, 
is 5, 1, 2, and that's also 8. So if we do the numerical value for the word set, which I have made reference to a set, that's also 8. So here we can see the beautiful um, thing about um, 31 in this sense and with the us shape. So I don't even clearly remember how I came across with this us um, term of this us shape that we are on. But Mother Eve said, let us make man. So now we are called to make man in our image after our likeness. But Mother Eve has called us to give us the instructions or ingredients or to, um, to remind us that um, we have the power to make the change we want in the world because that's how it happens. And then we see in the story of um, Genesis where he said the following thing is, and God made man in his own image after, in his own image and likeness. So there was something that um, was of liberty that he, he is also, H-E is 13. So he is, <coughs> again, the, showing the direct vibration. The word he, H-E, is 13. This is the God. He is the God. Now he was able to make man in his own image and likeness. And of course, we know that in the story of Christ, having the 12 disciples and he, Christ, being the 13th, after the crucifixion, there you hear the word, you see the word Christ is used much more prevalently or um, frequently after the crucifixion. This is my observation. You'd hear Master or Jesus or, or the Messiah or things like that, but Christ, meaning um, the um, Christ number five, the fifth dimension that takes on that shape of 14 because five is actually 14, adding one plus four together is five or whether it was Christ three plus two, five. So that's what I'm going to keep this short, but I really wanted to um, highlight more about number three because this is perhaps, let's say, use this as an example to show us that if we pay attention to the vibration or the true essence of number three, perhaps we will be able to find the path that this, that of discovering the um, Christ within us which we have known and seen that has happened through igniting our third eye, activating our kundalini. And of course, whether you were Christian and you were born again in whatever way that you see um, that it, the Christ speaks through you. Um, but that's what I felt. And <coughs> sorry. And this story, of course, um, gives um, credence, I think, I would say quite a lot to the Trinity and it hasn't been my thing to promote in religion or anything like that but I am understanding the power of three the magic of three and I hope you do too please leave your comments your likes and um, you know and share of course because we are on this us ship trying to share that which we know that which we have and that which we are Okay, thank you.